Hello, everybody. My name is Anaya Amir, and I'm going to be telling you how you can act on things, or if you want to do something, do it. Now, imagine you could invent anything. Imagine you were a scientist and what you might discover. Imagine you went down in history to be a legend for what you did. Imagine you could change the world. For the last few years, I began to think that the world was unfair and I couldn't make sense of topics like war, the refugee crisis, and environmental crises. I even thought that the world was coming to an end. But then I thought that maybe there was something I could do to stop all this madness. I started to allow my passions to guide my questioning and my research. I have many passions, and you could say that they continue to change as I grow up. I believe that everyone should be passionate about something. But why does this matter? I'm passionate, so what? I want to make the world a better place. How? Let me tell you. It's probably the most important thing I could tell you. It's simple, too. Almost too simple. I have realized that if you want to do something, do it. Don't delay and stop making excuses. Put your passion to good use and inspire others, too, as long as you do something. I've noticed that not many people think they can make a difference. They don't think it's possible for a kid to do something important. But I'm here to highlight that people who wanted to make a difference did it. Now, as I said, I have many passions. For the sake of this talk, I want to focus on people who have just done something about the environment in order to make the world a better place. Wangari Mathai, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Azar are all examples of just that. They were just ordinary people who made a difference. If they did it, you can too. I can tell you that anything is possible only if you try. Let's consider Wangari Mathai as, her, as my first example. When she was growing up, she learned about the Kikuyu of Kenya, who believed that their ancestors rested in the shade of Mugumo trees and that nature should be valued. With this upbringing, she went on to become one of the first African women to get a doctorate, the first female professor in Kenya, and the first African woman to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. So now you're wondering, how did she accomplish this? Well, when she returned home from school in America, she realized that the Kikuyu philosophy had been lost. Big businesses were cutting down large numbers of trees, and people seemed to have lost their connection and respect for nature. She saw how resources were becoming scarce in her village. So she started the Green Belt Movement. She planted trees and spoke out. She got other women to plant trees. She got whole villages to plant trees, and she protected these trees. She was even thrown in jail for being rebellious, but she did not stop there. She saw a problem, wanted to do something, so she did it. As I continued my research on the environment, I came across Leonardo DiCaprio's documentary, The Eleventh Hour. After watching it, I realized that the world was practically ruined. I was outraged that people had done this to the world. Later, I made my way over to the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation website, where I learned that his fight for environmentalism did not stop after making the documentary. He focuses on wildland and marine conservation, climate change, and innovative solutions, to name a few. Leonardo DiCaprio is rich and famous. He has everything he needs and more. Yet he decided to start an organization to address the environmental issues plaguing our world. He didn't use all the star power to spoil himself again and again. He's using it to help save our world. Hopefully, with his help, we'll all learn to not take this planet for granted. As I continued my research, I began to think locally about Azar and their role in being environmental. The second E in our Eagle Honor Code signifies just that. As a matter of fact, Azar is working toward the international certification with the Council of International Schools. Being environmental is just one way Azar can achieve this goal. Students and teachers coming from al Bustan can walk or bike to school, reducing the levels of carbon dioxide. Disposable plastic water bottles have been banned, and we use water fountains instead. Even our building materials are sustainable. In addition, we learn about the importance of respecting nature and environmental sustainabilities in the classrooms. 
This can be seen through activities like walking for water, planting trees, and planting gardens, as well as cleaning up after ourselves and consuming less in the dining halls. As Azar continues to do this, we students take these ideas home and hopefully even spread the message further. The truth is, we could all experience a much better world if we all just do something about it. The environment is an incredibly important topic for our world. From Tesla products, to changing oil prices, to governments, to big businesses that are hurting the environments, we all need to wake up and realize what we have done to the world. I encourage everyone to start today. What are you passionate about? How can you make the world a better place? If you want to do something, do it. Don't hesitate, don't procrastinate, just do it. Matthias, DiCaprio, and Azar are all examples that have noticed problems in their world and have done something about making it better. If they did it, you can too. Matthias stood for trees, DiCaprio stands for the environment, Azar stands for global citizenship, and I, I stand for you. To take a quote from Dr. Seuss, the Lorax, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Thank you.